I have been dedicating uh, most of my professional uh, career in uh, trying to promote and develop uh, sustainable pest control uh, methods uh, within an uh, integrated pest management uh, approach, including the sterile insect uh, technology. The technique is uh, effective and environment friendly. Uh, it is based on, on the mass production and sterilization of these insects, which are released on target areas where the pest is uh, doing uh, damage. What do national plant protection organizations can do to, to continue promoting uh, the use and adoption of, of this technology? Well, there are a number of things that can be done, including uh, uh, reflecting uh, the, the, these tools, these technologies, in, in the policies of the national plant protection organization so that it can be picked up by the farmers, by the private sectors, we need also to improve uh, or, or provide more resources into capacity building. This technology requires some minimum uh, infrastructure and know-how, so we need to invest more in capacity building. This can be done through a number of mechanisms, including the technical operation projects. And also we need to involve more uh, the financial institutions like the World Bank or the BID or, or uh, mechanisms such, such as the STD to be able to create this capacity and fund these uh, in initiatives for this uh, innovative uh, technology. Uh, we also need uh, to, to raise the awareness, uh, not, not only the awareness of the direct beneficiaries and the, and the uh, decision makers, but also the awareness of the general public, as this is an inclusive technology. Uh, it is a, a participative approach uh, where you need uh, all, 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 all the, the stakeholders, all the interested parties involved in, in the implementation.